Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, this is Nicholas Zard and I'm signing in for Clean Technica. Today I'm really excited about reviewing the 2016 Chevy Volt. And let's just say that this is probably, to be more exact, the third generation of Chevy Volt. We had the very first one that came up uh, about five years ago now. And then there was, you know, a few upgrades and modifications that happened with still with the old body uh, style. And then finally this one. And let's just say that now this is a completely different car. Inside, out, the design is completely redone. Uh, the interior is absolutely amazing and technologically uh, GM really pushed up this car and built it up even more. This is so well engineered. Usually I drive cars and I try to just not learn that much about it to see how intuitive the car is. This is not one of these cars. This is the kind of car where you really have to know what you're driving. You really have to spend some time reading the manuals and God forbid, guys reading manuals, right? Well, it really makes a lot of sense. There's so many things in here. There's so much technology in here that makes this car a heck of a great car. Let's have a closer look at it. To the question whether or not the Volt is a hybrid or an electric car, let's just say that if we take the dictionary term and we look at hybrid, a hybrid is a platform that uses two sources of energy. In this case, there is a gasoline engine right here and there is a battery pack. Chevy rates the 2016 Volt with a 50 mile electric range. Honestly, you can get much more than that if you know how to hypermile the car. I got easily 55 miles out of it. There are two types of modes you can drive the car. Actually, there are more than two types. There are probably five or six or seven types, but generally speaking, two types of modes. There's the regular D mode, and you'll feel you're just like in any other um, automatic sedan. And then there's the L mode, which will accentuate the regenerative braking. That's the fun part. Chevy also gives you a few other modes. There's the regular normal mode, then there's the sports mode. There's also a mountain mode which sort of throttles back the, um, the torque on the car. Now obviously the sports mode is the fun part. You'd never really think of a uh, Chevy Volt as being a sports car, but I had those front wheels spinning a heck of a lot of times. In fact, I surprised a few Audis and uh, BMWs. As I said before, GM really engineered this car a heck of a lot. As I said before, GM really engineered this car really well. There's two planetary gearing system, which one of them is hooked up to the gasoline engine. The other one is hooked up to one of the electric motors. And the generator that is directly hooked up to the gasoline engine also acts as the motor. So all of them basically can work at, all, at any time and feed energy to the front wheels. The gasoline engine is bigger, so it's a 1.5 instead of a 1.4, but this time it's all aluminum, so its weight drops by, I think, about 140 pounds. It also uses two planetary gearing system, one that is connected to the engine who is connected to the generator, which is also an electric motor in this case, has its own ge planetary gearing system, and the other one, the battery system that goes to the electric motor, has its own planetary gearing system. So what this really translates into is that the engine does recharge the battery pack that actually puts you know the electricity into the electric motor to turn the front wheels but you can also have both electric motors meaning the generator and the electric motor that can power the front wheels thus the boost but technicalities apart what really will impress you with a car is how it handles. This handles so much better than the first uh, generation plus of the original Volt. This car feels really stable and it's actually fun to drive. This is actually, for me, I'm European, I'm used to uh, European sedans. It's as good as any good European sedans. I wouldn't feel ashamed driving this next to an Audi and a BMW. Some people are not gonna like the new look and will prefer the old look and everything. I happen to think it is a nice look. Aerodynamically, it's beautiful. It's a little little hunched up in the back so it looks a little bit more muscular and it looks really good now some people might not like this but you know what you can just gray it out or black it out if you don't like it one of the things I also enjoyed a lot about driving the 2016 Volt is the quietness of the car. You know, there's something to be said driving in these beautiful mountains on electricity alone and having the cows look at you in a very different way when they hear one of those gasoline engine cars coming, they sort of step to the side. But with this, they just kind of looked at us. That was really funny. The 2016 Volt has a lot of driving assistance. For instance, the lane departure works really well, as we found out. Um, driving up here, it would definitely see the two yellow lines on one side and the white line. And if you veer it off, which we did on purpose, a little bit, it would gently 
bring back the car um, on course. And what that means is that the steering wheel, you'd find a little bit of resistance that would bring you back there. It was well done. It's not in your face and that's one thing I really like about it. Another great point here and another thumbs up for GM. You can put the lowest quality of gasoline in here, the unleaded 87. Gasoline tank is not very big. I think about eight gallons, which is more than sufficient. And all in all, I mean, 50 miles of uh, this, another 360 miles, I guess, on the gasoline engine gives this car a very good range. Something I hope you can get a better feel for with the pictures that we're going to include is the interior of the Volt. As I've said before, it's been completely redesigned and it looks really good. Now you really feel like you're getting your, your, your money's worth if you wish. Quality has gone way up and it actually feels like a really good comfortable car. Uh, we'll have a look at the back seats behind which I find not only very pretty and very beautifully well done, but comfortable. One of the things that I really liked about this car is the infotainment system. Everything is pretty well laid out. Everything is intuitive enough that you don't really need to study the manual too, too much. One thing I wish it would have though is a way to find the local chargers. Also, there's a uh, G4 connection so you can actually have your own MiFi um, wireless network right here. In other words, a little Wi-Fi network just for you that runs on the uh, 4G from OnStar. I think that's a really great idea. The new 2016 Chevy Volt redesign looks good. It looks elegant and it definitely looks classy. Now, some people might lament the old design, but I happen to like this new design. It looks good. Another thing too is that it matches the expectations of the interior design, which was also a redesign. And as you can see, it looks elegant. It's definitely very refreshed. And another thing you might not get from these videos is that the quality has greatly improved. GM has bumped up on the quality of the interior. Nothing feels like it was uh, hastily put together. Nothing feels like the glue is going to come undone at any moment. This was definitely a bump up in the quality, and we haven't seen that in a long time. Well, I hope this video gave you a pretty good idea of how the new 2016 Volt feels like. I have to say, I'm, I'm very impressed by it, and I know I have a tendency to be impressed by every new car that comes out, but this one really does make a difference. This one really does do a lot of things, and it does it really well. It's a great feel to drive. It doesn't feel wishy-washy as, as most you know modern cars did in the past. This feels really good, as in like a good European sedan. But the interior also feels very well put together. It feels luxurious, futuristic, but not over the board. One thing I do like, I like and I don't like, it's the brush chrome inside the um, cockpit right here. Now it's very pleasing on the eyes until the sun reflects right on it. So that's not a really big deal. I mean, it just happens, you know, once in a while when you're at that right angle. Another thing I like and I maybe don't like nearly as much as I like that display of that um, that tan fake leather here and the black. Unfortunately, when the sun shines on it, you do have reflection. And the Volt being what it is, very aerodynamic with a plunging window, you do see a lot of reflection from the sun when it hits that surface. Otherwise, I mean, that's really splitting hair. This car feels good, it's sure-footed, it feels like a good sedan. The car also turns on a dime. I mean, for a car this size, for a sedan this size, it's impressive, it has a really good turn radius, and I like that a lot. If you already have a Volt, let's say you have a first-generation Volt, and you step into this one, your first-generation Volt will feel like a toaster. Absolutely. But this here improves us on everything. The Voltec platform, mechanically totally different, the outside, the interior, everything feels great about this car. And as you've probably seen, we took it mostly, I mean, we drove it around cities a lot of time in Long Beach and in uh, Los Angeles. We also took it on the highway for three, four hours and the car felt super great. We took it up and down the, the coast and the rolling hills of San Luis Obispo and boy that felt just wonderful. The car is just a happy driver. One thing I really like about this car and you will love about this car is the um, hyper miling is actually really fun to do and here's a little tip something you can do. The cruise control is great for highway but you know cruise control uphill doesn't really work well. It just smashes the accelerator, the engine revs up like crazy. I don't think it's super efficient. I think with my foot, I'm much more efficient. However, 
going downhill, it is much more efficient than my foot is. Let's say you stabilize at, you know, 65, 70 miles an hour. You lock that car into 65, 70 and go downhill. It'll just keep that pace, meaning it will recharge the battery as you're cruising at 70 miles per hour down a hill. Wow, you can't get that with a regular gasoline car. Well, this concludes our amazing eight days of drive. We were lucky, we got an extra day of driving with this car and well, we're, we're very excited. This, this has been a really good car. It has been a very good experience and, and here we go. That means my phone is connected. This car is a five plug out of five. Absolutely amazing. So this is Nicholas Zart signing off for Clean Technica. Go and check out the new 2016 Volt. If you're on the fence, you don't know what you're looking for, you want to know a little bit more about it, study the manual first, go and check it out. This is a car that's going to make you really turn around if you've been hesitating with American quality. And we'll show you that this is as good as any European sedan.